Hello guys, my name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty. I'm out in Santan Valley, formerly Queen Creek. I'm gonna give you a tour of a bank-owned home here in the community of Castle Gate, okay? It's a, home was a, it's 2,230 square foot, four bedrooms, two baths, formal living room and dining room. Sits on the south side of the street facing north. We have a tile roof, three car garage. Exterior of this home is very nice condition. A little bit of landscaping tune up here, but otherwise doesn't need a whole lot on the outside. Stucco is in very good condition. Uh, you've got a few years before it need to, to be repainted. The soffits, a uh, couple of years, you might want to slap some paint on the on the fascia and the, and the underside of the soffits. The inside is what needs some work here. We need uh, new flooring and paint throughout. Uh, we've got a few holes in the doors. They did kind of beat the inside up, but nothing uh, a new paint job and some flooring wouldn't take care of. So I step into the front door here. I got a tile entryway. I'm looking straight ahead to my family room. To my left, I've got a uh, formal living room. And to my right, I have the uh, the dining room. Vaulted ceilings in this front part. And again, the carpet, the paint, everything needs to be redone in here. Got wood shutter blinds on the front window. And then behind me is the formal living room. Got a couple uh, holes in uh, a little, slight little holes in the walls would be easy to cover up, and then we've got a few of these panel doors that need to be replaced with holes in them as well. It's linoleum in the kitchen. I think you're probably going to want tile throughout. Nice easy job. Great vaulted ceilings, recessed lighting, a ceiling fan in the living room. It's got it's wired for another ceiling fan in there if they wanted another one. Kitchen cabinets are good condition, but they busted a bunch of these fronts off on these cabinets. And, uh, you know, I think you could probably take uh, from this hallway cabinet and maybe just replace the hallway cabinet with something else and take some of the fronts and drawer fronts from that. And I think if you couldn't find the new fronts for these cabinets, um, I, I think you could do a make-do with a hallway or bathroom cabinets and only replace those rather than any kitchen cabinets. But I think we'd be able to get fronts for these. There's only about uh, five, about seven of these that, that just need the drawer fronts and new drawers made. Otherwise, the cabinets are pretty decent shape. It is for mica countertops, uh, but it's, it's a nice countertop. Sinks in good condition. You need a uh, stove, refrigerator, um, probably a new oven, microwave looks good, and probably a new dishwasher. Do have a washer and dryer. It is a nicer set. I don't know if uh, uh, if they work or not. So my master bedroom is this way. We have blinds on most of these windows. Only a few of them need to be replaced. Again, another slight hole in the wall here, but if we're doing some repainting, wouldn't be difficult to do. You've got a uh, full bathtub and a separate shower and they actually look pretty decent I think would clean up very well cabinets are good shape double sinks and a nice size walk-in closet in the master the bathtub doesn't look like it was actually ever used No lights on in the house, but we do. I took lots of pictures of the garage. If you want to see what the garage looks like, let me know. There's a door going out to the side of the house from the garage. Laundry room is straight ahead here, and here is the washer and dryer, that uh, new front load style. They look pretty good condition. I, again, uh, they appear to be Kenmore. And there's looking back the great room area. We'll take you down the hallway to the uh, guest bedrooms. 
Got some dark colors in the hallway, but it, again, that could easily be changed with some paint. These are the cabinets I was telling you about. Might be able to take these drawer fronts from that in a bathroom and uh, cut them down to size for these kitchen cabinets if the worst case scenario came and we couldn't, uh, couldn't find fronts for them. Uh, it's a newer cabinet and it's a very popular brand, so it should be fairly easy to do, I would think. And here is your guest bath full tub and shower in this. Again, it's dark in here, so it's hard to get you in there. And then uh, here's our three, three bedrooms. These are all uh, switched outlets for lighting in here. And uh, none of them are wired for ceiling fans, but it would be, again, fairly easy to do if you wanted to put a ceiling fan in those rooms. This is a very popular floor plan in Castle Gate. And we just don't get too many of these that come up anymore. Got a nice fully fenced in yard. Again, this backyard is facing to the south. And again, with some rock and a little touch up uh, in the backyard for landscaping, would not take much. Uh, I don't know if they had watering. They, it looks like they did have some uh, uh, watering back here. Exterior of the home is very good condition. All tile roof, just the exterior of the house just does not need anything done to it. The, the inside work is where it's all at and mainly that's paint and some flooring and, uh, and doing something with those kitchen cabinets. The out, outside yard could go for quite a while. Uh, you do have grass but it wouldn't take much to turn it all into gravel if you so choose. Behind the backyard here is one of the entrances into Castle Gate. Just not a real high traffic area. There's about three ways to get into Castle Gate. And uh, just not much for traffic here. You do have a satellite dish on the roof. But again, this is a fairly new home built in 2005. You guys, my name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty. Uh, I specialize in selling homes in, uh, throughout Arizona here. I look forward to meeting you in person and I'd appreciate your business. You can visit my website at www.justjarl, that's J-U-S-T-J-A-R-L.com or you can give me a call on my cell phone at 480-710-6326. Thank you.